Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted any video reels. So this is the first one for the year 2023. So a very belated Happy New Year to you all. I now have a blog which goes with these videos and I'll post the details on the text below. And I'm also adding new features to it. So I hope you'll be able to check it out and let me know what you think. Well, today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the Year of the Rabbit and I'm sure there'll be lots of parties and parades and fireworks. But this video is not rabbit related, but more about sheep. And you might have noticed in my previous blogs and in some of the video reels that sheep play quite a feature in some of the things that I've posted. And that's probably because there are several farms nearby and there are sheep that are out there grazing in the fields. And also I live quite near the North Yorkshire Moors where there are lots of sheep out and about grazing on the heath and on the um, heather. But they always know the sheep in the... Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted any video reels and this is the first one for the year 2023. So a very belated Happy New Year to you all. There's now a blog to go with these videos and I'll post the details in the text below and I'll shortly be adding some new features as well. So please let me know what you think and any comments are welcome to. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted any video reels and so this is the first one for the year 2023. So a very belated Happy New Year to you all. I now have a blog which goes with these videos and I'll post the details in the text below and I'll shortly be adding some new features to it. So I hope you'll be able to have a look and let me know what you think. Today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the Year of the Rabbit. I'm sure there'll be lots of parties, lots of fireworks, lots of parades. Um, but this video is not rabbit related at all, but it's more about sheep. And you might have noticed in previous blogs and on some of the video reels that sheep feature quite a lot in these things that I post on the website. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. This is the first video reel of 2023 and I know it's been quite a while since I posted anything on here, but happy and belated. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted any video reels and this is the first one for 2023. So a belated and happy new year to you all. I also now have a blog which goes with these video reels and I'll post the details in the text below. I'm adding some new features to it so I hope you'll be able to get a chance to have a look and let me know what you think. Today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the Year of the Rabbit. I'm sure there'll be lots of parades, of parties and of fireworks but this video reel isn't rabbit related but more about sheep. And you might have noticed that in previous blogs and in previous video reels that sheep actually feature quite a lot. And that's probably because there are several farms around here and the sheep can be seen out in the fields. And also I live quite near the North Yorkshire Moors. So for people that know this area, you'll know that sheep are always out there day and night grazing on the heather. But the sheep that are in the fields always know when the farmers come in with fresh air and you can watch them, they run or they trot down the hill or wherever they are to meet him and he's there ready to field. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted any video reels so this is the first one for 2023 so belated and happy new year. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted anything on here, so it's a belated Happy New Year to you all. I've also now got a blog and I'll put the details in the text below, so I hope at some stage you'll be able to check that out and I'll shortly be adding some new features to that blog as well. Today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the Year of the Rabbit and I'm sure they'll be having lots of parties, um, parades and fireworks. 
but this video reel is not rabbit related at all but more about sheep and you might have noticed that on my blogs and on some of the video reels that sheep actually feature quite a lot and that's probably because there are several farms around here where I live and so sheep can often be seen out in the fields and I also live quite near the North Yorkshire Moors and for people that know the area you'll know that there are always sheep out there grazing on the heather. Well, the sheep that are in the fields always know when the farmers come in with fresh hay because if you watch them you can see them run or trot down the path to meet him and he's there ready to feed the feeding troughs with exactly. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted a video reel so this is the first one of the year 2023 so belated and a happy new year to you all. I've now got a blog to go with these videos and I'll put the details in the text below. So I'm shortly adding some new features as well. So if you get the chance, please do try and go along and check it out. Today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the year of the rabbits. Well, this video reel isn't about rabbits, but it's about sheep. And you might have noticed in my blog and some of the previous video reels that sheep feature quite a lot. And that's probably because there are several farms where I live and so sheep can often be seen out and about in the fields and on the moors and they're usually grazing on the land or on the heather. But the sheep always know when the farmer is coming with fresh hay and you can see them literally run or trot in very fast to meet him. And there he is ready to feel, feel the feeding troughs with exactly what they need. The farmer's not always there to be seen, but that doesn't mean to say that he's not keeping an eye on them. And so it is in our own lives. We know that God is our shepherd. We may, might think that God has forgotten us. We don't know or we can't feel his presence at times, but he always turns up for us exactly at the time that we need him to turn. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been a while since I posted any video reels and so this is the first one for 2023. So belated and a happy new year to you all. I've also got a blog now to go with these videos and I'll post details in the text below. So I'm adding some new features too so I hope you'll be able to go along and check it out and let me know what you think. But today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the year of the rabbit. Well, this video is not rabbit related, but it's about sheep. You might have noticed that in my blogs and in some of the video reels that sheep feature quite a lot. And that's probably because I live near several farms where sheep are kept out in the fields. And also I live near the North Yorkshire Moors where the sheep are out day and night grazing on the heather. But the sheep always know when the farmers come in with fresh hay for them. And you can see them running or trotting fast to meet him and he's just ready to fill the feeding troughs with exactly what they need. The farmer's not always there to be seen but that doesn't mean to say he's not keeping an eye on them. And so it is in our own lives. We know that Jesus is our shepherd. Just because sometimes we can't feel his presence he doesn't mean to say that he's given up on us. He knows exactly what we need and just at the right time our needs are met. Psalm 23 says this, it's a familiar psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. If we want to enjoy those green pastures, if we want to be led beside still waters, then we have to be willing to follow our shepherd, to be led by the shepherd. And that might include going up and down some very, very rocky paths. It might be going through some spiritual blizzards. But God never promised us an easy life. He did promise that he would take us safely through to the other side. I don't need to tell you that the world is not in a good shape. The days are getting more evil and the... Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been a while since I posted any video reels, so this is the first one for the year 2023. So a very belated and happy new year to you all. I've also got a blog now which goes with these reels and with the blogs. 
Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. This is the first video reel I've posted for a long time. S Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been a while since I posted any video reels, so this is the first one for the year 2023. So a very belated and a happy new year to you all. I now have a blog which goes with these videos and I'll write something in the text below. I'm adding some new features so I hope you'll be able to go along and check it out and let me know what you think too. Today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the year of the rabbits. Well this video isn't rabbit related but it's about sheep and you might have noticed in previous blogs and in previous video reels that sheep feature quite a lot. And that's probably because I live quite near a few farms where the sheep are out in the fields. And also I live near the North Yorkshire Moors where sheep are out there day and night, out there grazing on the heather. But they always know when the farmer is coming with fresh air. You can... S Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been quite a while since I posted a video reel and this is the first one for the year 2023. So a very belated and happy new year to you all. I've also got a blog now and I'll put the details below in the text. I'm about to add some new features to it. So if you get a chance, please go along and check it out and let me know what you think. Well, today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the Year of the Rabbit. This video isn't real rabbit related, but it's more about sheep. And you might have noticed in previous blogs and in some of the video reels that sheep feature quite a lot. And that's probably because I live quite near to a couple of farms where they have sheep out in the fields. And also I live near the North Yorkshire Moors where the sheep are out there day and night just feeding on the heather. They always know when the, sh when the farmer is coming with fresh hay and you can see them running or trotting to meet him and he's just ready to fill their feeding troughs with exactly what they need. The farmer's not always there to be seen but that doesn't mean to say that he's not keeping an eye on them. And so it is in our own lives. We know that Jesus is our shepherd. Sometimes we don't feel his presence or think he's not around, but that doesn't mean to say that he's forgotten us. And just at the right time, he can supply our needs. We don't have to um, think that he's forgotten about us at all, because that is not the case. Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. It's been a while since I posted any video reels and this is the first one for the year 2023. So belated and a happy new year to you all. There's also a blog now which goes with these videos and I'll put the details in the text below. I'm adding some new features to it so I hope you'll be able to go along and check it out and let me know what you think. Today is the Chinese New Year and they're celebrating the year of the rabbit. Well, this video isn't rabbit related but more about sheep and you might have noticed in previous blogs and in some of the video reels that sheep feature quite a lot and that's probably because I live near two farms and sheep can often be seen out grazing in the fields and I also live near the North Yorkshire Moors and the sheep are out there day and night just grazing on the heather. They always know when the farmers come in with fresh hay and you can see them running or trotting to meet him and he's always there ready to fill their feeding troughs with exactly what they need. The farmer's not always there to be seen but that doesn't mean to say that he's not keeping an eye on them and so it is in our own lives. We might think sometimes that God has forgotten all about us but he never forgets about us. He's always there keeping a mindful eye and watchful eye upon us and sometimes we think that he's not going to supply the things that we want but just at the right time he always shows up he never ever lets us down and psalm 23 it's a familiar psalm but says this the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters if we want to lie down in green pastures or be led beside those still waters, we have to be willing to follow and to lead our good shepherd. 
and that might include going up and down some very very steep hills it might go mean going along some rocky paths it might be be spiritual blizzards that we're having to go through and God never promised us an easy life but he promised to take us safely through to the to the other side I don't need to tell you the world is not a good place to be the days are getting more evil and the days seem to be getting darker and darker but God has promised that for those who believe in him who put their trust in him that he will take us safely through to our place with him for eternity in heaven but here on earth if you want God to fill your life with new blessings then remember this God is always keeping an eye on us he's not forgotten us just like the farmer comes and feeds those sheep God will always supply our needs and secondly if we need to find those blessings if we need to find those green pastures and those still waters we need to be willing to be led and to follow the one who knows what's best for us Amen